hi this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial on C programming so in this tutorial we're gonna see the mk time or make time function in C so this mk time function or make time function is used to convert the date and time from its broken down format which means you know uh, time and date in the form of uh, hours minutes seconds and you know month date year to the calendar time equivalent so I'm gonna open up the time.h header file you can see here you know the structure tm which is uh, one of the type defined by this time.h header file so this structure tm contains the time in broken down format so here you know the date and time is in the form of seconds minutes hour you know uh, day month year so this mktime function is gonna convert the time and date from this format to the calendar time equivalent to this form you know time underscore t which is nothing but a long time okay now we're gonna see the syntax of this function and you know then we're gonna see how we can use this function in our program to this mk time function we need to pass the address of a structure you know which is of type struct tm this one and it's gonna convert the time passed through this uh, pointer to this calendar time and also if this uh, mktime function fails to convert then it's gonna return a value of minus one okay now we're gonna see you know how we can use this function and uh, and convert the time in broken down format to the calendar equivalent time okay so first what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a pointer of type tm so it's gonna be struct tm and uh, I'm gonna call it as t and the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna create a variable of type uh, time underscore t to store the return value from this mktime function so it's gonna be time underscore t and the variable name so I'm gonna call it as time in C for you know calendar format okay now we need to assign values to this uh, structure variable t which is nothing but assigning a date and time to this variable t so what we're gonna do is we're gonna assign the date and time so first we're gonna assign year date and month so what I'm gonna write is I'm gonna write t dot so to assign the year I'm gonna open up time dot uh, h so you can see here tm underscore year should be used I'm gonna copy that and paste it here and also this tm underscore year is gonna contain the year since 1900 it's gonna mean that if I want to store the year of 2013 then I have to write 113 which is you know uh, 2013 minus 1900 that's why what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write uh, equal to 2013 minus 1900 so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna specify the month so I'm gonna use t dot to specify the month we need to use tm underscore month so I'm gonna copy this and paste it here so equal to so the current month so the current month is September so you can see here the month starts from zero so for January is zero and February one similarly for December is 11 so this September is the ninth month and uh, to store that in this um, tm underscore month variable I need to pass 8 because you know the value starts with zero so equal to 8 and next I'm gonna assign the date for that I'm gonna use t dot you can see here yum day so we don't need to change this one so I'm gonna copy this and paste it here t dot tm underscore m day equal to today's date which is 25 today's date is 25 month is 8 here you know this is September but here you know we need to pass a value of um, 8 and also the year is 2013 okay the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna specify the time so t dot tm underscore hour h o u r okay I'm gonna set the value of hour to 0 and also I'm gonna set the value of of minute to 0 t dot 
tm underscore min equal to 0 and also t dot tm underscore sec equal to 0 so now uh, we have specified around uh, six members of this structure and the members tm underscore w day you know which, which contains the days since sunday and the tm underscore y day which contains the days since uh, january 1st uh, will be specified by this mk time function automatically that's why we don't need to specify that and then the last thing that we need to specify or the remaining thing is you know this daylight saving so i'm going to copy this one so it's going to be t dot i'm going to paste that equal to zero so now we have a variable of type struct tm and we can pass this variable to this mktime function and uh, and now we're gonna use that mktime function okay so it's gonna be mktime and uh, as a parameter we need to pass the address of this structure variable t that's why it's gonna be ampersand t and also we're gonna store the return value from this mktime function in our variable time in calendar format so time in c equal to mktime with the address of this structure tm okay the last thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna print out the value uh, stored in this time in c variable so that's why i'm gonna use a printf function and this uh, time in c variable is going to contain the date and time in the form of uh, some numbers but uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use a c time function to convert and print that one in some uh, user readable format that's why i'm going to use a c time and we need to pass the address of this time in c so that's why i'm going to use ampersand here so if you guys don't know about this c time function then please watch my video tutorial on it okay now we are ready to run this program i'm gonna save this one execute compile and run okay you can see here wednesday today is wednesday september 25 and also you know the time we set to zero here and it is 2013 so you can use this mktime function to get the day of the week for any date so here for the demonstration purpose i'm gonna change this 2013 to 1990 and uh, let's say the month is one which means february remember that you know for january we need to use the value of zero and uh, the date of six so when i run this program what we're gonna get is we're gonna get the day of the week for february 6 1990 so i'm gonna run this so you can see here it was tuesday so this is it guys this is about the mktime function in c thank you guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel like my facebook page at facebook.com learning lad and i'll see you in the next tutorial